All right, hello and welcome to the, I guess, preliminary episode of our new Victoria 2 campaign and concert of Europe, Roar of Industry. This is be version 1.8, and this is episode 0 of what's to become to known as Fashi France. We are obviously playing as France, um, and we will be Fashi, which should mean angry, uh, there is another word that was supposed to make more sense for it. And, uh, <laughs> it, it probably does make more sense for it, but, it, you know, this is that alliteration. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do some preliminary setups. Um, a few things we need to take care of. So, the goal for this one, I think, we'll either, we'll either reestablish the House of Bourbon, or we'll go forward and, uh, establish the Bonapartist, uh, kind of dictatorship version 2.0 similar uh, we'll go ahead and enable the rights of man it's not great for consciousness and non-colonial but it would be okay um there's a few changes uh instead of like literacy or education or whatever you want to call it it's called development and yeah also there's state services which it, it's basically um education right we we'll go ahead and pump a lot of these things up because we'll be fine I've ran through this once or twice before. It's not too big of a change. We're not going to be constitutional. We would be autoriste. That's not how you say that. I, I can't speak French. Uh, French. I should probably stop trying to imitate a French accent. I will, however, be using that horrible, horrible accent whenever I introduce episodes. We're going to go ahead and reorg armies. Now, there's a lot of changes uh, in this mod. Obviously, it started in 1821. You actually go uh, later into the war. War. You go later into the, uh, like, decades, right? As you can see by mass modernization, mass motorization, postmodern artillery, postmodern military science, things like that. Uh, it's obviously still a work in progress. Uh, I've played this before. It's, it's a great mod. I do love it. Uh, there are some, like, things that can be tweaked and whatnot. One thing I don't like is uh, your focus is for populations. Uh, you can't encourage promotions. The only thing you can do is local development. It kind of sucks, in my opinion, but it's not too bad. I'm going to set everyone to reactionary. Uh, that way, electoral vote always goes to the ultra-lista. We don't have to worry about that. Uh, what else do we have to take care of? I want to reorg these armies to actually make sense. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Uh, also, units are 5k each instead of 3k, like we're used to. We don't need dragoons. Um, we can take out one of the Cesar. One, two, three. This is fine. The Cesar is going to actually go up to the 20 stack up here. And this skirmish cav, we don't need. There are a few things we're going to keep in mind. Now, uh, I made a lot of jokes. I have, I have ran through the series once before. Uh, it's not too hard, I, I don't think, to really take into account what all happens. Uh, but what we are going to do is is we are, we're going to bully the U.S. and try to get back Louisiana. Uh, and we're going to go for French Canada as well at some point. Uh, it won't be as early on because of uh, infamy limits. Infamy goes up to 50. And it degrades a lot quicker. Um, the world's a lot more interesting in the beginning. Uh, as you can see, Prussia and Austria together. All right, this is like, what? How many years is it after Napoleon fell? Hold on, give me one second. So it has been, what, like seven years since Napoleon was defeated at Waterloo. So yeah, we're pretty good. Um, we're getting army set up. I can't forget about this one, five, two, that's fine. Uh, research, uh, the first thing I think we're gonna grab is the practical steam engine for the ironclads and things like that. Uh, it, it's a little bit different. It, it definitely rolls a bit different. I'm gonna have to like go for like a day or two. Uh, welcome to Concert of Europe, War of Industry. So uh, there are more interesting nations to play as, and I might do some like um, series that run kind of parallel with this one. We could go for. I'm really interested in maybe the Netherlands. Um, maybe the Ottomans, or like Russia, maybe Portugal, um, yeah. There are going to be more, uh, expansions based off of America, the Ottoman Empires, and more, but I, I think, I think the Netherlands are 
Russia would be interesting. Egypt, not as much. The Ottomans are going to get more. Maybe Mexico. I don't, I'm not too sure. Uh, as you can see, we immediately get like 1.7 million. Like I said, it was going to be fine. Now, there's a few uh, events that are added. Actually, a lot of events. Uh, there's the Lambert Charter, things like that. We'll need different inventions and whatnot. A lot of these are like infamy based or changes opinions or we get like land and things like that. The one I'm interested in, the left bank, which we need ideological thought. And it'll basically give us the Rhineland. Well, a claim on the Rhineland for Prussia. So the Palatine, pa, fuck, Palatinate, Palatinata, and the Rhineland. I don't know why that like kind of Scottish accent came from. Not what I was aiming for. Hopefully, audio is a lot better going forward, but it might still be quite trash. I uh, also like how the Gazette de France looks. It's pretty good. Uh, there's also the East Indian Company. It should be under Russia, yeah. So the East India Company, which is it's India, it's British India, it's kind of to nerf India and also make it like more historically accurate because it was a private venture until like what 1850, 1860, when the uh, <laughs> when the government basically took over because of the Sepoy Sepoy Rebellion. It was uh, the one where um, there were pigs, pig grease, and the cartridges, and like the Muslims uh, rebelled. I think the Hindis also maybe rebelled. I'm not too sure exactly because I'm not too sure exactly how it goes. Or there's like beef grease or something. I don't know. But we're gonna we're gonna fuck over the U.S. Basically, <laughs> we are going to um, mess with the U.S. Uh, we're gonna take back Louisiana. We might take New York. My first time around, I took New York. New York is pretty populous. Actually, the most populous piece of America. But if we take Louisiana, Arkansas, Missouri, if we just snake our way up, we kind of cut them off from the Western territories. We won't be quick enough, though. That's the only thing. Um, La Havre in Normandy. We will actually go ahead and build 10 clippers. Because we will need them. <laughs> um... We'll try to consolidate some of these navies. So we're gonna need at least 10 uh, clipper transports. And we're gonna have to advance our colonial abilities by building ports. Ile de France and Paris aren't too populous right now. It's kinda early on in history. For uh, too early on in history for anything really important like that to be going on. We will have some wars on the mainland, but not too many. Balwan has a port. I think I don't think Pondicherry does. Pondicherry does not. I'm gonna go ahead and build a fort. Money's not gonna be an issue for us for most of the game because <laughs> we are friends. We're doing pretty great. Um, those are the West Indies. There shouldn't be any more. We also do have slavery because um, we also have to get back Haiti. It's another thing you have to worry about is Haiti. Because we do want to get that back. Kind of restore France to greatness. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of Spanish rebellions, nation, springtime of nations for uh, Latin America is going on. Uh, in the beginning, Portugal owns Brazil still, because it's like the dual monarchy, or the United Kingdoms of Portugal and Brazil. Uh, the capital is still Lisbon, but it'd be interesting to play as and see if you could keep uh, like Brazil under wraps. We need one more infantry. Do three of these and we're gonna get Hussars. And we should be fine there. I should make sure this is a rally point. It's not. I'm gonna fortify up our coastlines. It's gonna cost a lot. We'll be fine though. I'm not worried about cash. It'll be A-OK. -okay. okay, that should be fine for our American run. Uh, I at least want here and the like low counties. Or basically the French low counties. No change is the best kind of change. Money's gonna fluctuate a bit. Marco wants to ally, that's fine. Sardinia and Piedmont should want to ally. They might not immediately accept it, they will. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and start just flying. Okay, we gotta wait a bit until September what? I'll go ahead and get this started. So we don't forget. Chaff money, great. There we go. Um, we're, we're gonna go for a small state. I think, I think, cause I think Louisiana counts as tiny. A small state might be like Virginia or Philadelphia or like New Jersey or New England. 
Uh, New England would be okay for us to grab. New York would be great, but that's too much infamy, and it won't let us to grab. It won't let us take a lot of these territories, and I'll make border gore galore, <laughs> which isn't great. Again, spend a lot of this. I'll try to keep these like ten minute uh, increments, which means uh, our preliminary episode sadly has to come to an end. As always, thank you very much for watching and adios.